Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video we're taking a look at a new portable audio recorder from Zoom, the H5. It seems like just yesterday when we reviewed the H6, and indeed the H5 is quite similar in many ways, especially as it's a modular design completely compatible with all of the H6's detachable microphone modules. Both units also share the same preamps, so if you want to think of the H5 as a scaled down but also less expensive version of the H6, that would be fairly accurate. In fact, for those of you who have seen the H6 video that we did last year, some of this may seem like deja vu vu all over again, although this time we are going to demo the SGH6 shotgun module, which we were unable to do before. Now having said that, let's check out the H5, and while we do, I'll use it to record my voice for this video using the included XYH5 stereo microphone module. The H5 records PCM and MP3 files and can record up to four tracks of audio simultaneously. In four track mode, the maximum resolution is 24 bit 48 kilohertz, but in stereo mode, you can record at 24 bit 96 kilohertz. MP3s can be recorded at rates of up to 320 kilobits per second, but only in stereo mode, not in multi track mode. The WAV files are automatically timestamped and thus BWF compliant, allowing for precise synchronization in post. Audio is recorded to SD or SDHC cards of up to 32 gigabytes, and a 2 gigabyte card is supplied with the unit. Power is supplied by two AA batteries, and the H5 can run for more than 15 hours on two alkalines, even while continuously recording. Alternatively, you can pick up an optional AC adapter that will plug into the USB port. Build quality is the usual quality we're used to from Zoom. The chassis has a nice rubberized coating, and with fewer inputs, it's more suited for handheld use than the heavier and bulkier H6. Now, without batteries inside or a module attached, the H5 weighs four tenths of a pound. Adding two AA's and the XYH5 module brings the weight up to seven tenths of a pound. The face has the usual transport buttons as well as buttons to arm the four available tracks. These also serve as mute buttons for the tracks on playback. Navigation through menus is done with the usual zoom joystick and menu button on the side between the remote input and the SD card slot. On the back of the H5 is a metal quarter 20 thread, allowing you to mount it to a tripod or to your camera if you have an optional shoe mount adapter. The H5's large backlit LCD screen isn't quite as glamorous as the full color display the H6 sports, but it looks quite good in its own right and it's easily readable in daylight, allowing you to see meters, menus, and other important information. Low cut filters and compressor limiters are available for all inputs. It's worth noting that the low cut filters offer 10 different frequency options for the roll off, ranging from 80 hertz up to 237 hertz, as well as off, of course. The compressor limiter also lets you choose between three different limiters and three different compressors. I really liked the easily accessible independent gain knobs on the H6's inputs, and that idea is carried over to the H5, and now there's a roll bar to help prevent an accidental change in levels. It's nice not to have to page through menus when you need to make a fast adjustment, just reach over and adjust the knob. Now these knobs are for the gain levels on the quarter XLR inputs at the bottom of the recorder. The inputs can handle line or mic level signals and independently select phantom power for external condenser microphones is available for these inputs at 12, 24, or 48 volts. And if your microphone can run on these lower voltages, by all means use them, as that will save you significant battery life. The combo inputs also feature independently switchable 20 dB pads if you're using external mics on really loud sources, for example. For monitoring, there's a mini headphone jack on the side, as well as a line output jack for speakers or to record to your camera's audio tracks as a backup and sync guide. Volume for the headphone and line out jacks can be set independently. And there's also a mini speaker on the back as well. Like all the mic modules, input levels for the included XYH5 capsule are set using the dial on the module itself. The XYH5 module is a bit different from the XYH6 module that ships with the H6. The diaphragm on these capsules is a bit smaller, so they are a bit less sensitive, and the angle of the mics on the XYH5 is fixed at a 90 degree XY angle, so the wider 120 degree option on the XYH6 is not available here. On the other hand, the XYH5 does feature an advanced rubberized shock mount and rugged external wires to help minimize vibration and handling noise. 
size. The XYH5 capsule can also mic very loud sources as it can handle SPLs of up to 140 dB, which is more than any of the H6 capsules or any other Zoom handy recorder model, actually. The XYH5 also has a mini input jack on the side that can accept mic or line level signals and supports plug-in power for mics that require it. Now keep in mind that if you plug something into this input, the XY mics no longer function and your feed to the mini jack gets recorded on the left and right channels instead. Now, of course, as I mentioned, the XY-H6 module will work with the H5, so if you want to record a wider stereo image, you can use that module instead and set the mics to a 120 degree angle, say if you're doing field recordings or maybe recording a large classical ensemble, perhaps. Another option would be the MSH6 mid-side microphone module. Inside this module is a unidirectional mic that captures sound from the center, as well as a bi-directional mic to capture sound from the sides, and the MS decoder is built into the H5. MS miking is popular in video and film applications for broadcast, since it largely avoids the phase cancellation issues that can occur when traditional stereo signals are summed to mono. You can control the amount of the side mic you want in your recordings in one dB increments from negative 24 to plus 6 dB or turn it off entirely for mono recordings. Another option is to record in raw mode and then you can go back and decide how much of the side mics you want later in post. The other mic module option is the SGH-6 shotgun mic attachment. We demoed the MSH-6 mid-side mic and the XYH-6 stereo mic when we reviewed the H-6 last year, but at that time we didn't have a working SGH-6 module, so let's head over to the B&H Superstore and have a listen. Okay, so now you're hearing me being mic'd by the SGH-6 shotgun module. Shotgun microphones get their name from the long barrel that focuses audio capture at the end of the barrel and helps to reduce off-axis sound. In the case of the SGH-6, to keep that interference tube or barrel a little bit shorter, there are actually three microphone capsules inside with digital signal processing, and that, with the interference tube, gives the mic a super cardioid polar pattern. That's why we're demoing it here in the store. The idea is the mic is going to focus its audio capture on the subject, that's me, and keep the store ambience to a minimum. Uh, normally, with a shotgun microphone, a sound man will attach it to a boom and suspend the microphone over a scene just out of frame. With the SGH-6, that's going to be a bit awkward and difficult because it attaches directly to the recorder. Instead, we imagine a lot of DSLR shooters are going to attach the recorder and the microphone to their camera rig for run and gun style shooting, which is how we have it set up here today. Keep in mind that if you do that, try to get the microphone as close to your source as you can to give yourself the best possible sound. Now you've heard the shotgun microphone, so while we're here at the store, why don't we swap it out for the XYH5 stereo module and record a little store ambience so you can get an idea of that module's stereo capabilities. There's one more attachment option for the H5, and that's the EXH6 Dual XLR TRS Combo Capsule. Now, this attachment simply gives you two additional XLR TRS inputs, each with independent gain control, and like all the modules, a 5 volt preamp to minimize distortion. Each input also features a 20 dB pad option. The module can accept line or mic level signals, but I should point out that it does not send phantom power, so you'll still have to plug XLR mics into the inputs at the bottom of the unit if they require 
require phantom power. A couple of other features I should mention about the H5 include the two second pre-record feature, in case you're a hair late pressing the record button. It's also a backup record option on the left and right tracks that records a duplicate set of tracks, but at an input level 12 dB lower as a safety take in case the input level on the main take is too hot and it distorts. There's also an auto record mode that will start and stop recording based on the input level that you set. Overdubbing is possible and multi-track recordings can also be mixed down to stereo files on the H5's internal mixer page. Files can also be normalized, trimmed, and divided. Playback speed is variable from 50% up to 150%, and you can also adjust the pitch of a track without affecting the playback speed, and there's even a tuner and a metronome on board. It's also worth noting that in addition to allowing you to transfer files back and forth to your computer, the USB port also allows you to use the H5 as a USB audio interface to your computer or iPad. Although with the iPad, you're limited to using it in two input stereo mode rather than four input multi-track mode. Finally, in addition to the recorder and the XY H5 capsule, the H5 ships with a foam windscreen, a USB cable, a two gigabyte SD card, batteries, a download for the WaveLab LE software for PC, and a case. So hopefully that gives you some idea of how the H5 fits into Zoom's line of portable audio recorders. If you like the feature set on the H6, but you don't need that many inputs and tracks, the smaller, less expensive Zoom H5 might be just what you've been waiting for. I'm Rob from BH. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.